Hey, welcome back to the session. So in the last session, we saw that how we integrated the third party library on the Swift side using the Swift package manager. <clears throat> now we'll update that code with the uh, Swift's own way of doing with the URL session. Specifically, we'll be using the URL session WebSocket delegate. Rest of the code is going to be same. Like we are going to use the same Node.js server we are going to use the same storyboard elements, the same actions uh, and uh, I will show you the same example like we have the uh, connect, send and the disconnect button. So everything is going to be same, it is just that we are going to update the socket code of connection and disconnection and sending and receiving the messages. Rest of everything remains same. So let's jump into the code and let's see how different it is from the uh, library which we used in the last session. So this is the updated code. So let's run this Swift code on the simulator and uh, use the same existing Node.js server. So go to the uh, Node.js server code uh, in the finder and right click and open it in the terminal and then you will see the black window like here in the right side. But before starting the server, uh, let's try to connect and see what happens. So I'll click on the simulator connect and you will see that there is an HTTP load error. So the connection has failed because the server has not started yet. So uh, let's go back and start the server and then uh, let's uh, connect now. So you will see that when we connect we immediately get back the response and you will see that a connected uh, connection is there. So similarly like we did in the last uh, video, you can refer it from there. Uh, like we write the hey and then we'll get the response. Then we wait for some time and the server will send the response by itself. So all those in one connection. <laughs> 